Hi guys, in this video we are going to be talking about the Christmas update that's coming tomorrow in Anime Champions and a couple of things that we know so far about what's coming and what should we be possibly expecting. Now, the first thing is that we actually don't know and there is no hints as to whether there is a new map or whether there is a new anime being introduced and honestly, since there is no sneak peek or anything, so far, I have a feeling that we are not going to be having a new map, so that means that we're still going to be stuck in Marineford. So yeah, just keep opening this hole for a godly white beard. So, as I said, you can basically just continue your efforts on opening for a godly white beard. The event was also added actually last night with uh, the 2x lag. And honestly, with 60 plus lag, it is somewhat manageable. To be honest with you guys, I spent the entire night. I didn't get more than one capsule. I got one capsule across the entire night, at least like ever since the event was dropped. I don't exactly remember what time, but it was like at least a seven hour stretch without one capsule, not more than one. And then in the span of like two hours, I got like three more, I believe. So in total, we have, let's have a look how many we have in total actually. So we have, that's eight, right? Eight. That would be 16, and the 4, 20, and 7, 27. So we have 27 out of 100 for the period to kick in. Obviously, hitting 100 does not guarantee a godly, unfortunately. But, you know, ideally, we would like uh, to hit on the next one, on the 28. Stop the cap. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cap. That's not going to happen. So, anyway, back to the important stuff for this video. So, apparently, uh, yesterday, we had some... Uh, leaks i guess from uh, the update now i will set this picture and as you guys can see we do have a christmas vendor now this sort of vendor reminds me awfully lot of the halloween vendor so i would expect this to be a halloween style event same thing you just like farm christmas uh, candy or whatever snowballs whatever the currency may be named and you just redeem it in a similar fashion on this egg for some Christmas stuff, so I would expect scrap farming to go crazy again with uh, this thing, which is really nice because you need a whole bunch of scraps actually in order to literally anything. But actually it'd be pretty cool if you could uh, get some Devoir Crystals somehow from the event as well. I feel like Devoir Crystals are not balanced at all, considering you get like a hundred a day from doing the Devoir, or well, obviously it depends by RNG. And then you have like this weapon. I know that it's a cosmic weapon and obviously you're not meant to farm cosmic equipment all the time like 5k for it 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 looks kind of a lot to me i feel like it's kind of a, a little bit too high of a cost 5k so maybe they do some rebalancing in the shop or maybe they just like add more ways of grinding currency because think about it right like let's say that your average is like 70 to 80 like that would require over a month to actually all the 5k or like around a month which i think one, like one month of uh well it's not really much grinding anyway. It's literally just your uh, six minutes of your day of the devour, and if you're strong enough, you can just uh, AFK after uh, just a few seconds, hitting one Q. Uh, devour does need rebalancing on the drops, definitely. Like, look at this. One Q is nothing at this point in time. And yeah, like, it's not really hard to do, but it's something that you have to do for like a really long amount of time in order to get something. So hopefully there's going to be some more devour crystals added. And... Honestly, guys, thinking about it, what would you choose? Would you choose an event like this? That's something that you can just, like, grind. Now, a lot of people were pissed off about the Christmas uh, Halloween update that you couldn't really grind it as the diminishing returns kicked in. And obviously, like, most people just grinded it once a day and then they just dipped the way it was made. Like, boosts didn't even really help it. Like, you just got your cap a lot faster in, like, the first five minutes of the, your first round of the day. And then it was just useless. So, yeah, like... It was just something that you could just do like once for 30 minutes per day, just AFKing on the boss, and you were done. So that's kind of nice that it does really force you to like grind and grind and grind. But at the same time, people didn't really like that. Like a lot of people were down to actually grind for more candies. So it is kind of a double-edged sword, depends how you just see it. But honestly, I think that having an event like this, that's like, even if it's a copy-paste of a Halloween, right? Because it's literally just the same exact script. Just uh, reskin the candies into snowballs or candies, like Halloween candies, and change the skins and stuff like that. While this is just a copy-paste, I think it's better than what, like, the events used to be on uh, 
anime fighters. Like, for example, if you guys remember, like, instead of having, like, a map where it just drops, like, units that are, like, outdated, like, imagine it's something that's, like, similar to a Makima in strength, right? The Cosmic. Like, it's gonna be useless. Obviously, it's gonna be good for new players, but for most of your play base that's, like, active, it's completely uninteresting. So, in that regard, it is sort of better to have that thing rather than um, having, I guess, uh, an update just like that, like Halloween update in Anime Fighters like two years ago or whatever you want to make the case about it. So yeah, we'll see if anything new pops up around Christmas. Hopefully there's going to be more stuff than just literally a copy paste of the Halloween event. Although Halloween event is good, a lot of scrap. Scrap is one of the most important stuff in the game. Now, they could just do a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, for example, they could do like Instead of like adding the star here, they could just literally add like a tree that you can claim once a day. And there is like a... In that... Uh, what's it called? In that uh, tree, there's like gifts that you can open once a day. And then it's like boosts and stuff like that inside. That would also be nice if you could actually have access to boosts. That would be nice. Obviously, boosts is one of the main stuff that brings income into the game from people that are like perm opening with boosts. Then again, there is that as well. But yeah, a couple of boosts, I don't think they would hurt. But yeah, the important thing is just add some more stuff. Like, don't make it a copy paste of the Halloween event. I think that's going to be pretty bland. Now, as I said, we don't really know whether there is going to be a new map. Now, apparently, Quirk rebalancing is coming and uh, skin affixes, just like I said. So, if you guys have your medals ready and your scrap ready, I found a couple of scrap earlier. Should have, like. Bruh. Okay, never mind. I thought I had more. Unfortunate. But yeah, just save your scrap and just wait to see what the best thing is going to be after rebalancing. Like, it's kind of not very fun to just blow your stuff up for a warrior right now. Like, for a warrior, celestial, titan, boxer. And then they just, like, make Crimson Death and Black Hole, like, the two best passives and Ancient Mage. And you're just stuck with, like, things that are not better. So just hold on to your stuff, whatever you have. Don't use them. And lastly, guys, since it looks like it's going to be something similar to Halloween, or rather, well, as I said, it looks like, right? We don't really know, but it does awfully look a lot like Halloween. If the system works exactly the same, you are gonna need coin drop multipliers, which mean, guys, that if you wanna achieve the highest coin multiplier, it's not using your drops team, it's not using your luck team. Now, Leprechaun and Thief have the highest coin multipliers out of uh, both of them. So ideally what you want is you want units with both Thief and Leprechaun. So if I search somewhere here, I should still have the units. I don't think I deleted them. There we go. I have five of them. So you kind of want to be preparing these units just for the sake of uh, grinding the new currency that's like similar to the Halloween candies. So you kind of want to run probably like seven of those and just use one damage unit to kill the boss fast or maybe even two. Um, doesn't really matter a lot much. If it works like the Halloween thing, it's really not going to matter how you do it. But could be nice if you just prepare that as well. And honestly, that's literally just it. There's no other information whatsoever. There is nothing on Discord. Again, no announcement about the uh, update. No announcement about the time. No sneak peeks. So we don't really know anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys all whenever the update drops. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, time unknown.